Okay, let's look at Big Bigan now. So um, I recommend watching the previous video I have on the Big Gan model. Um, it's going to help explain a little bit of how Big Bigan works. Um, but let's take a look at the Big Bigan model. So we search Big Gan or Big Bigan. Um, Big Bigan will show up. Um, these models are related, and we'll talk about how in just a minute. So uh, instead of jumping right into adding this to my workspace, let's take a look at the page itself. So the description for this is generate similar images based on the input image. So uh, I already know that I'm going to be inputting an image here, um, and it looks like there's going to be a bigan encoder. So any place you see something like an encoder, that means essentially you're inputting um, your own data, and it's going to like sort of encode it into the next model. So this is going to encode an image that we put in into bigan. Um, so again, as a refresher, bigan was uh, is a model sort of similar to stylegan. Um, and that generates images uh, from a latent space. Um, it is, uh, however, different from StyleGAN in the sense that it's categorical or it uses um, categories. So whereas all StyleGAN models are all faces or all flowers, um, BigGAN can generate a bunch of different images um, using different categories. So what this is going to do is we're going to upload our own image, and we're going to get an image that is the closest representation it can find inside of BigGAN. So let's add this to our workspace here. Uh, and now you'll see here, um, if this is different from BigGAN, right? And then the sense is that the input is a, is a file or a camera image. Um, let's get this started. And while this is starting, I will find an image here on my messy, messy desktop. So you can put in, uh, let's try to see what the closest image to Bernie is in here. So you'll often get an uh, error when you try to give it too big of an image. So let's scale this guy down. Now we're processing. So this is the image that it found closest representative to Bernie Sanders. It found a weird person. It did find glasses, but those uh, do not look like Bernie's glasses. Um, so you know, one thing to note here is that I'm inputting in an image of you know 600 by 800 that I've scaled down using uh, the tools inside of Runway, um, but the output is always going to be square. Uh, it's going to be, and I think it's always going to be 256 by 256, just the way this model works. Um, so you input an image, and it's going to scale it down and then find the closest representation of it. Um, so let's actually try another image. Um, actually, let me do this. Let's go to Google real quick. And then let's um, just do an image search for um, a toucan. desktop. Let's go over here and let's grab that toucan image and let's upload it. Now here again, I upload a toucan and there is a category of toucan I believe inside of uh, the image net or the big gam model but for whatever reason I did not find the toucan, right? So this is not a, uh, it's important to know that this is not like trying to guess what this image is and then trying to find it within the model. It's just losing using like pixel values and other sort of features of this image to try to find the closest representation inside of this. Um, now, I think there's also, you can also play with the, the images in this a little bit. So for example, one thing that you could try here is let's try to flip um, this image. And when you flip an image, you get a different result, right? So um, flip it back, I still get this one. And I flip it back, I get this one. Um, if we try to flip this bird upside down, which I don't know why we would do that, but let's just see what happens. Um, I still get a bird-like looking thing, but it's different now. Um, so let's do this. Let's try, uh, let's try rotating it up. So you can play with this and you'll get different outputs. Um, now again, I'm uploading something that's actually smaller than 256 by 256, and it's up it to this size. Um, but again, it's not really up the image because the image isn't really what it's, it's maybe uprising it inside the model, but it, what its output is is not this image. Um, so 
why would you use this model? Uh, just because you want some fun things to produce, right? So uh, this would be like kind of a funny one to, like I thought the Bernie Sanders image was kind of funky and like funny looking. Uh, you could upload other people's faces, upload other birds, upload other animals. You'll get back different results. Um, so this is Big Bygan. Um, it's kind of a one-shot thing in that this is how it works. Um, you just upload an image and get another image back. Uh, but it's still pretty interesting and it helps, I think, maybe understand a little bit of how Big Bygan works. Um, so that's all for this demo. Um, let me know if you have any questions.